Hello everyone and welcome back to World of Tanks and today I've got a real treat for you guys. This is the first replay I see from my clan in the Kranwagen or Krankenwagen as I like to call it, which means ambulance in German. And I believe I'm gonna keep calling the Kranwagen Krankenwagen for these reasons. So today showcasing the Krankenwagen, it's Dan 24680 which I'm gonna call Dan from now on. And he is defending on the 6th line, and of course, with the Krankenwagen, he will go on the right side and defend the ridge line. So first thing he sees is an artillery at the back, and deleting the artillery at the start of the game gives you a really big advantage, and ooh, a fire helps him out there. Very nice. t 541 tries to come up, but the Krankenwagen's uh, gun depression is amazing. I'm not sure now about the actual numbers, but it is pretty good. And the turret is almost impenetrable, if not actually impenetrable. So he is trying to find uh, someone to put the last shot in the magazine and then reload. And that bad shot looks like is good for that job, exactly. And there we go, shot in. I believe um, between each shot in the magazine, there is a three seconds uh, reload, which is pretty brutal, uh, if you ask me, as, uh, especially when you think about like T-57 Heavy that unloads very quickly. But as you will see, Dan will make it work. So he's got in front of him an Udes T-34, an E-3 and a T-54E-1 and he proceeds by taking out the Udes who is showing its side and then putting shots in the most and the biggest threat there which is the T-110 E-3 who bounces I believe uh, from his turret. He has to keep an eye on that Scorpion G in the side but yeah and uh, I believe the uh, Butcher is zeroing in uh, between the E3 and T34 and a T54 E1, and he is gonna die. I have no idea why he just went YOLO in there. He could not have um, killed all of them with his clip, and so I have no idea what that bachelor was doing. But anyway, let's go back to Dan. He is finished reloading and is planning on putting his shots in the E3. And there you go, that's one. That's two in the lower plate. Third one? Yes. But not a fourth one, because now he's showing your, uh, his upper plate and you're not gonna pen that. And a, the Scorpion G actually puts one in your turret, I believe, in the side of your turret. Yes, right there. Still, there's the Scorpion, your last shot in the magazine, and there we go. To be fair, I. If it was me, I would not I would have reloaded at that point and so wouldn't have been able to put that shot in the scoping tree. So, well done. Uh, well done, Dan. So, reloading again. Batchet... Oh, what is it with the Batchets? They all YOLO in! But to be fair, this Batchet saw like three tanks that were like one shots. So, I can understand this Batchet, but again... If you think that you're gonna take like three shots, you're not gonna survive it. Because they are gonna be pre aimed, at least attack from behind them. But at the same time, you got a T10 behind, so I would have. I wouldn't have attacked there. But. Oh, you bounce. Well, you bounce one shot and missed another one, so it means you only put two shots in the T10. And this T54E1 is coming to put some shots into you. He puts one in and he retreats. Which is weird, he must be reloaded, but he only fired twice, I believe. Anyway, better for you. So you bounce one shot with your sides uh, on the T10. It bounces off your tracks. So, I'm gonna pause it here for a second. You have now uh, an E3 there, T34, T54, E1. The Scorpion G down there somewhere. Uh, possibly a T10. And here you got another T10. So you need to lower the numbers because right now you're losing 510. Let's see what you're gonna do. So you're gonna go for this T10. You need to kill him because he's trying to flank him. 
good choice. And there we go. Now, three one shots. And of course, take out that E3, that gun with that immense penetration. Only really your turret can uh, bounce that. And T54E1, autoloader, always important. And T34 is the only one left. Now, maybe the VZ is gonna uh, get him. But in the worst, I don't believe he's gonna push forward to shoot you. And until you're gonna show up your turrets only, he's not gonna be able to pen you. So there we go. VZ looks like he's going for the T-34 and there is the Scorpion G behind. Is that VZ gonna die? No. Yes, he is. Ouch. Okay. You need to kill the Scorpion. And I shot and now you have to go back to base. There is an E-75 fighting it off with an ML-1. And I have to say, you already have a top gun and almost 6,000 damage, so already well done. But anyway, let's go back to base, you have to defend it. I have no idea how long that E-75 is going to last if the ML-1 decides to start circling him. E-75 puts one into the ML-1. Where's the tortoise? Hasn't been spotted the entire game. So ML-1 is circling D-75, at least looks like it. But D-75 is actually doing the right thing and going behind some cover. Puts another shot in the ML-1. Ooh, this is close. Will you be able to find a shot in the ML-1? Yes, ML-1 has seen you, is panicking. And oh boy, there we go. Oh, actually D-75 kills the ML-1. Okay, you got... Oh, you're going for a reload. I was about to say, you got three more sh uh, shots. Are you going to be able to uh, take the um, tortoise? Now, the tortoise is actually shooting the E-75 down there, who is behind cover, so he's only tracking him. And I do not understand why the tortoise is not loading HE or Hash, whatever it has. Because he would probably have killed the E-75 at that point. Tortoise puts one into you, get into cover, because Tortoise has really good reload and DPM. And you got heat load, I believe you're gonna pen everywhere, but still, he's showing his cupola. So, why not? One last shot for your seventh kill and 700, uh, 7,400 damage more or less, with 4,370 damage blocked. Awesome game. Let's go to the battle results. So, here are the post battle results. He's got a mastery badge, a lot of other medals that are not gonna count. A steel wall for those 4,700 damage blocks, I believe. A high caliber and a top gun for seven kills. Now, let's go here. And we can see that Dan did almost 7,400 damage with 12, almost 1,300 ex base experience. Detail report with premium, he made. 32,000 credits, and this is pretty good, counting that the last, I believe, two um, two magazines were heat rounds, so you actually made a profit. So as I said, almost 7,400 uh, 7, damage done, uh, 25 shots fired, 23 hits, 21 penetration, which is pretty good, 4,370 uh, damage blocked. And there's one enemy spotted, but that's fair enough. On Siegfried line, usually the light tanks get on that bridge and spot everyone at the beginning. And yes, I need three assistants, but you did almost 2,000 um, experience at the end. So well done. Great game. And yeah, send me whatever other battle you got, Dan. This was incredible. Thank you very much. Hey guys. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, if you're interested, my Facebook is on your right uh, with also my Twitch channel. I am online on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays from 6 o'clock onwards. Uh, although this depends on my uh, university activity and so on. I hope you had fun and I will see you soon, guys.